Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's tonight's video is off a subscriber's question. He'd actually watched my video on how to use the parallel dimension tool, and he was using it to send. Like I just drew this tonight for a customer. And it's a little bitty. This is only 0.95, and this is really 0.125. So I could size it and, and this wouldn't be so important but if you had a bunch of text on a banner or, or something on a big engraving you could actually classify it but his question was when he was doing something like really big the text is so little you can't see it so you could go through there and go and change it and you know change it to whatever you wanted to change but that's kind of a you know, if you're doing a lot of it, then it's kind of a miss, you know, an extra step you don't have to do. So to change that text on that parallel dimension tool, and everybody probably knows this, when you click on your text, before you do anything, if you go up here and click a new number, it's going to come up with this box, paragraph text, artistic text. There it is right there, dimension. Press OK. Now, get your parallel dimension tool and get on that node and get on that node. And now it gives you 18 point or 18 inches in big, bold text so you can see it better. So I hope that answered his question. Maybe you learned a little bit and thank you for watching.